You know, kids these days are really remarkable. Like, Ten-year-old twins, Carter and Cooper, these guys are known as the twin stripe reporters. They're killing it. They're better than us in many ways, already scoring interviews with the likes of Aaron Judge and others. Then there's Boyan Slat at 16 years old while scuba diving. He noticed that the ocean was just filled with garbage, so he launched the Ocean Cleanup Project. It has removed 28 million kilograms of trash from our oceans. We're showcasing stories like that here on WizKids. Who is that? Grover Cleveland. Tori Washington. A walk-off home oh, oh, run. Yankees win. Upcycling is essentially taking what you have already and giving it a second life. So I've invented Pestiscan. It's a device that helps everybody, even at home, detect pesticide residues on produce items. There will be moments in life where you're going to fall down, but it's not about falling down, it's about picking yourself back up. I'm Connell McShane, along with the one and only Mr. G. It's kind of cool, right? Like, every time we do this, you get you, you get more and more inspired because some of the greatest I ideas... I feel dumber. <laughs> right, that too. I mean, I'm more inspired. They're twice as smart as I'll ever be. That's right. Some of the best ideas come from people that are uh, half our age or maybe, well... And more importantly, you know, they're on the brink of something real special, and they have crushed AI. That's right. We're, we got that later in the show today, AI. This kid's an unbelievable 14-year-old that's using AI, but they're all using AI. It's really amazing. Uh, not a new concept, by the way. Quick trip down memory lane. Kids have been doing this for since the beginning of time. We start with Frank Epperson, 1905, just 11 years old, when he mixed up powdered uh, sugary soda and water, left it outside on a cold night, accidentally created a frozen treat. So he called it Epsicle. After his last name, we all call it Popsicle. And I call it a dream. There you go. Yeah. How about Les Paul? Only 12 years old, 1936, when he invented a harmonica holder using a wire hanger. Wow. Made it easier to play multiple instruments at once. So, hey, kids wow. have been doing it forever, wow, wow, right? Wow, wow. Bring back memories? Or what? Uh, the harmonica, yes. <laughs> uh, Les Paul, yes. Keep going. The, uh, <laughs> right, Please. don't remind you of that one. Now, today, the kids are just as good, if not better, just as talented, starting companies, building brands, and we've had them on the show many times, and this episode is sponsored by Virtual Enterprises International, where students learn business by running a business. You can learn more about what they do. Just go to veinternational.org. It's a great organization. It, uh, they give students the know-how and the access, right, to change Lives. And as I was I was at the plaza, and these kids pitched a shark tank at the plaza. Right. And they did two-minute pitches. Investment bankers were there. Venture capitalists were there. You didn't qualify, obviously. No. But they were terrific. They gave out prizes. You should see these kids pitch complex ideas in two minutes. No, it's amazing. Like, you know, adults would have a hard time doing it. All right, anyway, here we go. Uh, Whiz Kids. Uh, let's get to our first Whiz Kid on the episode this week. It's a four-year-old, a four-year-old, uh, Vincent Palmer. Okay, there's Vincent joined by his mom, Jane. You know what he's known for? No. Unbelievable. His memory. Hey, Vincent. Wow. Crazy memory. He's going to tell us all kinds of things about presidents. I mean, off the top of his head. All he's got to do is look at a picture. Oh, okay. Vincent, how you, how you doing? doing? Hey, how Vincent. you doing, Vincent? Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> okay, Vincent, are you ready? I'm yeah. going to... I'm going right. to show you the first picture. This is awesome. And tell me all you can about this person. Person. What is? George Washington. Oh, of course. Wow. Of course. And who was George Washington? <laughs> who is he? A president. A president. That's what number right. was he? One. Number one. one. Here comes. All right, we've got another one. All right, let's see this one now. That's the top. Do we have to get closer? Oh, there you go. There you go. Who is that? Grover Cleveland. Oh, wow. Grover Cleveland. Wow. How about his number? This is tough. This is like a trick question. What's his number? Number 24. 24. 24. Uh, now, this one, I hope you can get. Who is this president? <laughs> Who is he? Don't. Who is that? Who is that? Who guy is that? Very famous. Good looking, too. Who's the guy that's talking to you right now? <laughs> and what's his job? Is he a president? Nah. No. What's his job? <laughs> you know what his job is? What's his job? 
weather, Great job. A weatherman. He's a weatherman. <laughs> He's a weatherman. Oh, man. Do one more? You want to do one more? We got some state capitals in the moment. Do one, you want to do one more, President? Okay, here we go. One yeah. more. This is one awesome. more. Here we go. Theodore oh, Roosevelt. Ah, oh, that's an easy one. Wow. Theodore Roosevelt, he said. And Not what number no president was he? 26. 26. Oh, 26. Um, All what right. is he well, on? Is he on some monument? Mount, Mount, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, yeah. That had it. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I mean, how did this start, Jane? I mean, how, how did this whole thing start? Oh, we just knew from like an early age, he was a big talker. Um, I'm a speech therapist, so I, I mean, obviously I'm talking to him all the time, but he had like, by 18 months, he had like 200 words. Um, and just, he had this phenomenal memory for sports. He loves the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, we got a book about the presidents and that's kind of how we learned about presidents, and he showed some interest in geography in the state. So he just he, has, he picks up anything. His Amazing. mind seems to be really quick, ongoing. Yes. Am I right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> He's, He's a handful for you. He's got a busy you, mind right? and a busy body. I'm sure he's a head. Vincent and mom, this mind doesn't work too quick. Right? Okay. <laughs> so slow down. I love this. I love that. Hey, Vincent, it was so nice to meet you. We love meeting you. It was nice. Bye-bye, nice Vincent. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's thank you. nice, Vincent. Thank you. Wow. Bye. Do you want to be president one day, <laughs> Vincent? Do you yeah. Wanna... You do? Yeah. Do you have uh, another you job, be. one more, besides what president? What job would you be? In the weather? What would you like to be when you grow up, maybe? What are some things? A car driver like you and Daddy. Okay, a car uh, driver like Daddy and me. That's what else? nice. Or president. Else me. A sports player. A sports player. A sports, a sports player. player. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Never worked out. Hey, Vincent. So what again? We, this was great. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye, 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 Vincent. Bye, bye, mom. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 <laughs> All right. That was fun. We're joined now here in New York uh, by someone you know, Mr. G, which I'm very, very excited to meet. Her name is Iolanta. Okay. Let me just tell. There she is. Let me tell our audience a little bit about Iolanta. She's 14 years old. Um, she's blind. She went blind after a failed surgery, but it has not stopped her from becoming just an amazing singer. I mean, an amazing singer. She's got like a record deal already, releasing her own original music. It's through Daniel's Music Foundation. So with that, gee, I, I know you've you've already met Iolanta, and now we all can, right? Yes, yeah, well, isn't that great? now you're in for a gift. Now, Iolanta, we met when you were 12 years old, right? That's correct. And two years later, I've seen the difference. Uh, and you have your own record label. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I am assigned to a record label called Chess Call Me By My Name that um, helps people with disabilities get out there in the music industry. And Daniel's Music Foundation really is like a big part in that. It is an organization that helps people with disabilities. And I am so grateful that they brought me here and they helped me grow and become a better person as well as a better artist. Now, let me ask you a question because we chatted about this uh you started, did you start playing the piano also? Uh, piano was my first instrument. I started playing it when I was uh, four years old. Wow. And uh, then you started singing opera? Yes, I uh, started classical training when I was around six, seven. Um, piano, although it was my first instrument, it didn't really feel as close to home as singing did. I see. Hmm. And now we are 14 years old, and um, you are once told me that you're really interested in giving back, that each hurdle is a step forward for you. Each problem is a problem to be solved. Is that what you, am I saying that correctly? Yes, you're right. You're saying that correctly. I mean, and what's the feeling you have when you have all this gratitude? I feel really excited and really happy that I'm able to connect with people through music and that I'm able to just give them my voice and give them joy from hearing my songs and what I could give them. Is there something uh, that you'd want to just say to people who are watching and listening and maybe have problems, uh, whether it's physical, 
or emotional. Is there some message you'd like to deliver? Never, ever, with a capital, never doubt yourself. Because doubt and fear, it literally stops everything. If you step forward with courage and love and just doing what you love and determination, you will go places and you will climb extremely high mountains. There will be moments in life where you're gonna fall down, but it's not about falling down, it's about picking yourself back up. Wow. Thank you. That's thank that thank is that's so a, that is a great message. Thank you so much. You have, I mean, you've already had terrific success. You have such a bright future ahead of you. I bet you want to make this your whole career, right? Yes, Being definitely. A singer, I, love, I love singing. As I, I, I notice you, the message is not only for kids. You're talking to everybody. Oh, right? yeah. yes. Talking to everybody. Just before Ilanta leaves, we have a clip of her singing. Let's just, let's just play this real quick before we say goodbye to you. Here, yeah. uh, everybody, take a look. We have one more for you here on WizKids. This has been quite an episode. 14-year-old Sarish Subash, who was named as 3M's top young scientist for his invention, get this, of a device that uses AI to detect pesticides on produce, making sure our food is safe. So that's pretty cool, right, uh, G? So this yeah. is Sarish. All right, Sarish, hello. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, we're great. Thank you so much for coming on with us. So here's the thing. First of all, just tell us about your invention, 14-year-old inventor. Tell us what you invented. Yeah, sure. So I've invented PestiScan. It's a device that helps everybody, even at home, detect pesticide residues on produce items. Huh. So how does it work? How does it, does it work with, uh, we said it works with AI? Like, how does it actually work? Yeah, so the way it works is it bounces light off of produce items, and different materials, different chemicals, will reflect light differently. So produce with pesticide residues will reflect light differently than produce without pesticide residues. And PestiScan can detect that difference. It's like so, one of those blue light things they have, G, G you know, where you yeah. can see it right away. That's, that's really cool. So, uh, Sarish, I want to ask you a question. Uh, my family does this, my daughter and my wife, when they have fruit, right, they'll put it in water. And you can mm -hmm. see the water change colors right. and it becomes dark. Are we looking at what you're talking about? Uh, is, is the fruit giving off its pesticides and the water's changing for that reason? So that is, to some extent it might be, I haven't looked into that side of it specifically. Right. But that might be, that might be playing a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting, though. Yeah. If you don't drink that water afterwards, when you still, like, maybe not, <laughs> not even a good idea. Fruit, but it scares us what's in our food. Um, so how easy is this for, you know, me or Mr. G, how easy would it be for us to use? It's really easy. How does it, you know, at home, how does it work? It's really simple. You just take the device, you okay. point it at the item, and you just press the scan button, and a couple seconds later, the results will come up on screen. Wow. Are you selling these? Uh, on that point, I'm still working on it. So right now, I'm pushing my way towards the patent. But from here, I'm looking to sell these in the future to try and get them out yeah. to as many as possible. Let That's me amazing. ask you a question, oh, Sarish. How much money would you be asking if you would evaluate <laughs> this company as you get a little older? Because at 18 years old, you're going to be asking some of these questions, right? How, what, what would you ask an investment bank or somebody? How much, how much money do you think you would need? Two billion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's definitely quite a bit of investment that would have to go into this to get this rolling. I don't right. have an exact hard number right, right now. Well, here, how about this? We have someone who can give you, this is what one of the things we do on the show is we bring in like people to give people like you who are amazing. You've come up with a great idea at 14, some advice, okay? So uh, right, this is Ed, Ed Mitson. 
who joins us. Welcome, Ed. He's Hi, generated Ed. over a billion Hi. dollars in revenue through his three businesses. He co-founded the uh, Business for Good Foundation. Okay, so that's a little background on Ed. Welcome to the show. And maybe you have some comments, questions, or just simple advice for Cerise. Amazing to come up with something like this at 14. Oh my gosh, it's so inspiring. Uh, I know. You know, I was 14, I was mowing lawns. And yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, no, congratulations. I mean, this is incredible. I don't know, um, I know you won the contest at 3 a.m. And I wasn't sure if, do they provide you with support after you win? Um, do, do they give you help with marketing and, and, and patents and registering as a company and that kind of stuff? Do they help you with that? Or are you doing that privately? So, so far, not directly from the company, but I've made some connections, for example, with the mentor that I had over the course of the challenge that are to some extent helping with that, but not directly from the company on in terms okay. of all this. That's great. Well, our foundation, Business for Good, one of the, our pillars is to help entrepreneurs grow companies. And uh, it's a nonprofit. We, we, we're not looking for an equity stake or anything like that. Hmm. But if there's anything that we can do, um, if it comes, you know, if you if you haven't incorporated yet, um, I noticed you don't have your your name registered with, as a website yet. I would definitely lock that up so that you can sort of control the narrative. I don't know if you you know build a website for the product. Um, it's just it's so incredible what you've built. You want to make sure that you can control. All, all the narrative and 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 build your own personal brand around this. I mean, you're obviously off to a phenomenal start. You've written two books already, I wow. think, right? Um, so uh, it's just it's really really incredible, and and I just I, I it gives me hope for our future. Hey, hey Ed, what are some of the not mistakes necessarily, but the the things people don't think of? When, you know, it's a a lot of people have great ideas, even young people like Sarish, But what do they miss early? that they should know? What would what do you think you know, older people wish they knew when they first started? Yeah, I think you have to surround yourself with people that you trust and that and that can offer different perspectives. So if you have, you know, maybe you put together a little mini advisory board with, um, you know, a lawyer, a marketing person, That's a finance fun. person, yeah. um, you know, somebody that understands manufacturing um, so that you can you can start to you know, put all the pieces together. I mean, I realize you're in school. What are you in tenth grade? I'm going to be in tenth grade this fall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you have a day job, so to speak. But um, to <laughs> the extent that you can, you can surround yourself with really um, honest people that can help you guide you through the process. I think that would be great. The other thing too is, is you want to try and own all the intellectual property you can, right? So that, so that. Um, you know, no one can come in and, and take your idea and 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 use it some other way. Or you know, you want to be able to protect your asset. Um, I think there's a very valuable commercial um, application here for people. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is in the in the news all the time now with chemicals yeah. and pesticides and yeah. dyes and all that stuff. So um, your timing. Is I perfect. just have uh, I have Suresh make, make a promise to me that you'll always keep in contact with Ed. Okay, right. you make that promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the second I, I thing, would love, I would love to come down. You're in Georgia, right? Yeah. So I can come down and, and meet with your folks and you, and wow. we can we can That'd talk through wow. strategies. Wow. It'd be fun. I mean, that, it would be really fun that's to work terrific, on something. Ed. Like. And the yeah, other thing awesome. that Ed, you should know, and Sarish, can you talk to this? The device has an accuracy rate of eighty-five percent. So with that, that was actually an older version. So that was my first prototype. But at this point, I've actually managed to push it to 93.44. Wow. There you go. That's 93.44, Ed, not 93.4. <laughs> I, I got it. I got and yeah, it. Also, keep in contact with us, Sarish. We'd love to have you back, I think, once you start selling these, because you're going to do great. I think, Ed, I think Ed's right about that. And Sarish, when he He's asks awesome. for money, don't give no, it. Right. He doesn't pay back. He doesn't pay back. <laughs> you should, we should be giving him money. We could be investors, right? Um, Sarish, thank you. Ed, great, uh, great stuff. Terrific, I, I hope Ed. you guys oh, do thank you. Thanks for coming I'll on. I'll make with sure us, that right? we get our contact information that, shared. I think that's great. All right. Um, thanks to our, our, our sponsor once again, Virtual Enterprises International, where students learn business by running a business. Again, you can learn more about this terrific group. Just go to veinternational.org. Once again, for Mr. G, I'm Connell McShane. What a show. What a show. Great what show. show. We'll see you next time on WizKids.